Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we will be exploring a noted flow designed to create a programmable interval injector. This flow can be used to trigger events at adjustable intervals, which is incredibly useful for various real-time applications. Let's dive into the details and see how it works step by step. So let me give you the flow overview starting with the inject nodes. We have three inject nodes labeled with 1 second rate, 2 second rates and 5 second rate. This node allows us to set the interval at which the events can trigger when activated. Each inject node sends a payload in milliseconds. Coming to the change node, the inject nodes connect to the change node that sets three properties flow.rate limit to store the interval, message.topic to tick, message.payload to trigger. Delay node This flow continues to delay node configured with the recursive delay mechanism. This node delays the message based on the flow, rate limits, value, ensuring that interval can be adjusted dynamically. The debug node A debug node is connected to display the output in the debug sidebar. The stop node An inject node labeled stop is included to reset the delay node and stop the triggering process. Auto start node. Another inject node labeled auto start with saved value can be used to automatically start the flow with the saved interval value. The real time application. This programmable interval injectors can be used in various real time applications such as data polling, periodically fetching data from an API or sensor, automated testing, triggering test cases at regular intervals. IoT devices, controlling and monitoring IoT devices with adjustable intervals. You can enhance this node rate flow by UI integrations. Enhancing the flow by adding a dashboard into the input fields to allow users to control the interval from node rate dashboard. Example, add a slider to select the interval dynamically and a persistent storage. Store the interval value in a file or database so that flow can remember the last set interval even after a restart. Update the change nodes to persistent storage for reading and writing the interval value. Error handling. Implement error handling mechanism to manage unexpected scenarios such as invalid interval values or flow descriptions. Enhancing loggings, adding additional debug nodes or logging mechanism to monitor the flow's behavior more comprehensively. Example, log the start and stop events along with interval changes for better traceability. So now let me show you the demonstration step by step of this flow. The first of all, the set interval triggers any of the inject nodes for 1 second or 2 second or 5 second to set the interval and you can observe the sidebar displaying the data based on the time interval is set. Next is the start triggering. Use the auto start with saved values. Note to start the process with a saved interval value. Observe the message being output at the set interval in the debug sidebar. Next is the change interval. Change the interval by triggering a different inject node. Notices the change in the output frequency. Now let us look at the stop process. Using the stop node to reset the delay node and stop the triggering process. Conclusion By following this tutorial, 
you now have a programmable interval injector that can be used in various real-time applications with a few enhancements. This flow can be become a very powerful and versatile. Thank you for watching and happy coding with a node red. Don't forget to subscribe, like and hit the bell icon for more tutorial videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. See you in the another video. Bye.